Hello, how are you today? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. Okay, ustedes, ¿cómo están? Very good, teacher. Okay, excellent. Excellent to hear that. And you, teacher? Fine, fine, fine. And how? A little warm, right? It's, the weather is kind of hot today. Okay. 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 Sí, siempre pasa eso, el cambio climático. El cambio climático, lastimosamente. A ver, cuéntenme, ¿any questions about the platform? Terminaron ayer el ejercicio que estábamos haciendo ayer de los audios, ¿verdad? Eh, about the phone numbers. Yes, teacher. Ok, no questions over there. I don't know. No question? No. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. About there is, there are, there is, there are. No question? No? No question. Okay. Well, I'm going to start sharing the screen then. Today, we are going to retake a topic that is not new for you, right? Because if we were talking about this on Tuesday, remember? Yes, no questions. Yes, no questions with the verb to be. And today we are also going to make double H questions, right? Yes, no questions and double H questions. Okay. These are some, in, we call them information questions and you will see the difference. For example, uh, when we make an, inf we call them information questions because you give information. No es lo mismo que yo le pregunte, are you a student? A que le pregunte, what do you study? What are you studying? Or what is it? Okay, no es lo mismo. Entonces, si yo le pregunto, is this your cell phone? Usted me dice, no, it isn't. Pero, ¿qué tal si yo le pregunto, where is your cell phone? Me va a responder con un lugar, right? Talking about place. So, check. Usamos information questions para preguntar. Ahorita vamos a hacer preguntas solamente con el verbo to be. Pero más adelantito ustedes van a usar estas palabras para hacer preguntas con otros verbos, ¿verdad? Y otros auxiliares. Ok. Now check. Si yo hago una pregunta con who, estoy preguntando sobre una persona. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, who is he? Who is he? Then you say, ah, he is my brother. Who is she? She is my sister. Or oh, she is Maria, right? She is Anna, okay? When, if I make a question with when, I'm talking about time, time. When is, when is Friday? When is Friday? Tomorrow is Friday, right? Okay, if I make a question with what, I'm asking about things. What is it? What is it? Then you say, oh, it is a cell phone, right? What is it? Or oh, what is this? What is this? No digo who is this, sino que what? Porque estoy preguntando sobre una cosa, right? What is this? It is a calculator. What is this? It is a pen. So if I'm talking about things, I use what? And remember, asking about places, lugares, 
vamos a usar where, right? Y si lo que yo quiero es dar una razón o un motivo, use why. Why are you late? Why are you happy? Oh, because I won the lottery, right? Why are you happy? Reason. Si lo que yo quiero es preguntar sobre la hora, voy a usar what time. What time is it? What time is it? It is 8.05, right? What time is it? It's 8.05. Y si yo ocupo which, es para hacer un choice. Cuando yo voy a escoger algo, ocupo which. Okay, look at the examples. <clears throat> ¿Cómo en la plataforma vamos a estar haciendo ejercicios usando yes, no questions, right? Yes, no questions o double H questions. Tenemos la primera pregunta, is this your computer? Is this your computer? What do you answer to that question? Mm -hmm. Is this your it's. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, right? Yes, it is. Yes. It is. It is. Uh -huh. Is this your computer? Yes, it is. Okay. Now, where is your computer? Ya no me puede decir yes, it is. Porque ya no le pregunto que si es una computadora, sino que a dónde está. Where is your computer? It on the is table. on the table. Perfect. It is on the table. Yes. It is on the table. ¿Por qué it? Porque voy a sustituir la palabra computer. Yes. En este caso, yo sustituyo la palabra. Where is your computer? Ah, it is on the table. Yes. It is on the table. Y si le pregunto. Is this your cell phone? Is this your cell phone? Is this your cell phone? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Is this your cell phone? No, no, it no, isn't. It isn't. Okay. No, it isn't. Okay. No, no, negative, right? No, it isn't. Ok, no, it isn't, it's not my cell phone, right? Si queremos dar una, una respuesta más larga. Where is your cell phone? Where is your it cell is, phone? It, it is, is on the husband. It is on? The husband. It's on the ball. Ah, the ok. It is in my bag. Right? It is in my part. Sorry. Salute. Sorry, thank you. God bless you. Es, alergia, es alergia al ventilador, pero como está haciendo mucho calor. Bueno. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where is your cell phone? It is in my part. Pay attention to the prepositions. Más adelantito las vamos a ver. Okay. On the table. On the table. In my bag, right? When is your birthday? When is your birthday? It is. Y aquí decimos la fecha. Ajá. When is your birthday? 16 October. It is on October. ¿Cuánto? 20th. 20th. Okay. 20th. It is on October 20th. Check it. Si solo vamos a decir el mes, diríamos, it is in October, right? It is in October. Pero como vamos a dar la fecha completa, vamos a usar on. Aquí siempre on, pero ya no como preposición de lugar, sino que como preposición de tiempo, ¿sí? It is on October 20th. Okay. Who is your brother? 
who is your brother? Yes, he is. Oh, yes, here. Yes, here is. Okay. Look at this. My question. is. Ah, is this your brother? Si yo le pregunto, is this your brother? You tell me, yes. Yes, he is. Yes, yes he, he is. is. He right? is his brother. Ne, nunca his, right? No puedo decir que es his. No, it's not possible. Se acuerda, ¿verdad? Que no podemos usar contraction cuando damos una respuesta corta. Then you say, is this your brother? Yes, he yes, is. is. Yes, he is. Who is your brother? Ya no es yes, no question, ¿verdad? Sino que ahí no. tengo que dar información. En este caso, si se fija, cuando usamos las preguntas así, is this your computer? Is this your cell phone? Is this your brother? Aquí yo respondo sí o no, right? Dependiendo de la situación, sí o no. Pero cuando yo estoy preguntando con una de estas palabras, Así vamos a poner marcando que no se va a ver. Deshacer, no me gusta. Eh, marquémoslas así. Estas palabras se llaman yes, no, eh, double H question. ¿Por qué double H? Porque si se fijan, todas llevan una W y una H. No se quiere poner en amarillo. Es que tiene que dejar el lápiz primero y seleccionar. Ticha. Y es que se puso. Ahí está. Oh, a ver. Seleccione de nuevo el lápiz. El de ah. arriba porque está marcado. Ajá. Sí, que está marcado. No sé por qué. Ah, es... Y ahora seleccione la, la que va a marcar ah. el color. Ahí está. Ah, ok, thank you. Bye, check. Estas son las que nosotros llamam, llamamos double H questions o information questions. ¿Por qué le llamamos double H? Porque empiezan con una W y una H. ¿Verdad? Todas llevan una W y una H. Eh, por ejemplo, where, where, when, who, what, which, aún how, que va primero la H y luego la W, pero todos llevan una W y una H. Entonces, por eso es que se llama double H questions, right? Pero también las pueden encontrar como information questions. Y se llaman information questions porque cuando yo ocupo una de estas palabras para preguntar, lo que estoy persiguiendo es que usted me dé información extra. No solo que me diga sí o no, sino que me dé un poquito más de información. Entonces, si yo le digo, por ejemplo, who is your brother? No tengo al hermano ahí enfrente, ¿verdad? No le digo, is this your brother? Sino que, who is your brother? And then you say, ah, Pedro is my brother. Right? Pedro is my brother. Who is your brother? Pedro is my brother. What is your name? My name is Soil. See? What is your name? My name is Soil. Entonces, lo que yo estoy haciendo es dar información. No solamente digo yes or no. Any question here? Question, questions? I have a question. I have a question. Okay, tell me. And okay. the question, when is your birthday? Eh, de, ¿Cómo se dice respuesta? October. La respuesta, de answer. No, no. ¿Cómo se dice para la respuesta? ¿Cómo se dice esa palabra? Respuesta en inglés. The answer. The answer. The answer. Eh, it, it is in October. ¿Por qué, se, ¿Por qué se debía de poner in? Ah, ok. Si usted solamente me va a decir el mes, 
Entonces puede decir in October. It is in October. When is your birthday? It is in October. It is in March. It is in July. Pero si me va a dar la fecha completa, ya no va a ocupar in, sino que va a ocupar on. On. Ok. Thank you. Ok. Any other question over there? Any question? Ok. Quiero escuchar preguntas. A ver. Tell me questions. Give me examples of questions. Mm -hmm. ¿Quién quiere hacer una yes, no question? Ahorita solamente estamos usando el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Por eso los ejemplos que les he puesto son con el verbo to be. Ok, ¿quién me da un ejemplo? Yes, JC. Is this your headphones? Ok, are these your headphones? Very good. Are these your headphones? Thank you, JC. Somebody else raised the hand. ¿Quién más levantó la mano? Uh -huh. Más levanto la mano. Yo vi dos manos levantadas. ¿Y quién era la otra? Any other volunteer? ¿Quién quiere hacer una pregunta con where? Where? Ajá. Where? Where is. Where is your car? Ok, where is your car? Very good. Ok, Luis. Tell me. Uh, where is your favorite restaurant? Okay, very good. Where is the restaurant? Thank you. ¿Quién quiere hacer una con when? 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 Ajá, Chami, do you want to try? Okay. Luis levantó la mano, tell me Luis, y después vamos a escuchar a Chami, ¿verdad que sí? Ok, okay go ahead. Where is you from? Where are you from? Ok, very good. Ajá, another question. Another? When is your anniversary? When is your anniversary? Yes. Anniversary. When is your anniversary? Excellent. Elvin, tell me. What is your last name? Last name. What is your last name? Very good, great. What is your last name? Nice. Any other example? Another example? Mm -hmm. Vamos a ir, si no hay ejemplos y preguntitas, vamos a ir a la platform Go to the, go to page number, well, page, no in page, right? Al 2.6, 2.6, 2 We are going to write example questions. Aha. Uh -huh. Give me examples. <clears throat> Remember, you add a post and write a couple of questions, right? Okay, write as many examples as you can. Remember like the examples that you were just telling me, is this your computer? Is this your calculator? Are these your pens, right? Are these your pens? 
Is this your cap? Is this your bottle of water? Is this your cell phone? Where is your cell phone, right? Where is your computer? Where is your car? Write as many questions as you can. Do you have a couple of minutes for writing questions over there? Recuerden siempre le damos click en add a post and then you write the questions there. Are you, are you a student? Where is your school? Where is your work? Okay, so write questions using the verb to be, yes, no questions and double H questions. You can volunteer and share your sentences that you're writing, right? You can share your sentences with the rest of the class. Y recuerden de escribir también respuestas a sus preguntas, ¿verdad? Pueden escribir la pregunta y la respuesta. Is this your cell phone? No, it isn't. Where are your pens? They are on the table. Where is your computer? It is on the table. Where is your car? It is in the, in the parking lot. Or oh, it is in the garage. Tell me. Pre sí. If the question is, where is your work? And the answer is, uh, my work is in? Uh -huh. San Salvador, or is on San Salvador. It is in San Salvador. Y puede usar on si me va a dar el nombre de la calle donde queda. Oh. For example, you say it is in San Salvador or it is on First Avenue. Right? Uh -huh. En ese caso, si me va a dar el nombre de la calle o avenida, usamos on. Si no, me dice in San Salvador. Yeah? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? Question, questions, one more minute, and then we go to prepositions. Tienen preguntas sobre este ejercicio? Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Eh, solo quiero, quiero hacer una, pre, una pequeña pregunta. El wish, ¿qué significa? Who, who is? Who is? El... ¿Sí? Who? Which. El wish, dice el, el wish. wish. Ah, el wish. 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 Este. Este de acá. Sí. Which es para cuando tenemos opciones. Por ejemplo, si yo le digo, which pen do you like? Entonces usted me dice, I like the purple one, o I like the black one, no, the blue, the blue one, o I like the red one. O imagínese que usted me dice, teacher, you have my pen. Y yo le muestro los tres y le digo, which is your pen? Which is your pen? 
que usted dice, ah, my pen is the blue one. Que usted tiene de dónde escoger. Que cuando hay cómo escoger, ¿Cómo utilizamos which. ¿Sí? Ah, ok, entendido. Gracias. Ok, perfecto. Any other question over there? I have a question, teacher. Ok, tell me. Cuando yo realizo una pregunta de where is your house, eh, se tendría que responder it is en San Salvador. Igual it como is lo in San Salvador. Sí. Okay. Where is your house? It is in San Salvador. Uh -huh. O a menos que me vaya a decir el nombre de la calle o la avenida donde se encuentra, usamos on. Que usted me puede okay. decir, where is your house? Ah, it is in San Salvador. It is in Soyapango, it is in Ilopango, it is in Mexicanos, it is in San Miguel. Entonces, in, me dice el nombre de la ciudad o colonia o, o ciudad, ciudad, ¿verdad? Básicamente. Pero, uh -huh. si usted me quiere decir la dirección así como más exacta y incluyendo el nombre de la calle, en este caso vamos a usar on. Entonces me dice, por ejemplo, where is your house? It is on... Uh -huh. Avenida Las Amapolas, por decir algo. It is on First Avenue. It is on Los Héroes Boulevard. On, porque estamos hablando de una calle o una avenida. Entonces, en ese caso usamos on. on. Siempre para aclarar más, para dar más claridad a la respuesta. Sí, es como un poquito más exacto. Okay. Está dando ya la... La, la calle o la avenida, pero si solamente me va a decir el, la colonia, por decir algo, usamos en. Ok, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Pasemos al siguiente ejercicio? Check over there. Yes. Yo creo que ya terminamos, ¿verdad? Allí con, la, con, la, con el post. Nos vamos al siguiente ejercicio, 2.7. You're going to complete the conversations with the correct answer. What is the correct answer? So go ahead. You have only four questions there. Go over the, the choices that you get to complete the answer. En number one, no le dan la opción, pero como ustedes ya saben cómo preguntar, completan la pregunta, right? So, is this your umbrella? Mm Finished, teacher. Finished. Excellent. Everybody finished? Finish, finish. Well, I'm going to continue with the presentation. I guess you finish here, right? Yes. No question here? No, no, right? Nice, nice. Okay, look at this. 
we're going to talk about prepositions. Let's talk about prepositions. Look at these prepositions. You have in, repeat, in, 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 in on, 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 next to, next to, next to, next to, the cake is next to the glass, right? The cake is next to the glass. And look at this one. The balloons are above the table. The balloons are above. Above. Están arriba y hay un espacio, right? Hay un espacio entre la mesa y los globos. En ese caso usamos on. The cake and the glass are on the table, right? The cake and, and the glass are on the table, but the balloons no están cabal sobre la mesa, están arriba, arriba. pero están con un espacio en medio, right? So you say the balloons are above the table. Yeah? Above. And the table is below the balloons. Aquí vamos a usar below. The table is below. Está abajo. Los balloons están arriba y la table está abajo. Pero hay un espacio en medio. Entonces no puedo decir yo the table is under the balloon. Porque no está debajo. Está abajo. Right? So you can see the difference. Cuando hay, por ejemplo, en este caso vamos a sacar acá el cel. Tengo my notebook right? And my cell phone. The cell phone is above the notebook. Above the notebook. And the notebook is below the cell phone, right? Okay. Pero si yo pongo el cell phone acá, diría, the cell phone is on the notebook and the notebook is under the cell phone. Pero allí depende si hay un espacio en medio o no. Okay? Y en el caso de los balloons, pues no hay. O, o si sí hay mucho espacio en medio. Ahora, between, you say, the book is between the box and the camera. Between, the book is between the box and the camera. Where is the book? Where is the book? Between. Between. En medio, right? En medio. Between the box and the camera. Yeah? Okay. Now here we have in front of. The van, the van is in front of the house. The van is in front of the house. And the house is behind the van. In front of, behind. Behind is atrás. So you say the star is behind the bag. The star is behind the bag. The bag is in front of the star. The bag is in front of the house. And the house is behind the bag. Any question? Tell me, where are the bananas? Where are the bananas? The bananas in... In the bowl, right? The, bowl. the bananas are in the bowl. The bananas are in the bowl. Here we can make a sentence, right? The bananas... are in the bowl. Bowl, así se dice este recipiente, bowl. The bananas are in the bowl. Where is the apple? Where is the apple? The apple 
is on, on, is on the book. Is on the, books. On the book. The apple, the apple in is on the, the book. Very good. Where is the cake? Where is the cake? The cake. The cake next is. To... The cake is. Next to a bowl. Yes. The cake is the on the table. On the table. Perfect. Now, where is the book? Where is the book? The books are under the apple. Okay, the books are under the apple. Very good. And what about this book? The book is? Is between. Between, mm -hmm. between the box oh, and the, box the and camera. camera. See? ¿Sí? En medio, en medio de la caja y la cámara, right? So the book is between the box and the camera. Very good. Where is the band? Where is the band? The band is in front of house. The band is in front of the house. Very good. Where is the house? The house the is behind, behind the band. Uh-huh. The house is behind the band. Where is the star here? Where is the star? The star is behind. Behind. Uh -huh. The uh, star is behind the bulb, right? It's behind the bulb. Okay. Any teacher, questions? Preguntas. Teacher, I have a question. Okay, tell me. Uh, they are uh, other prepositions? Hay muchas más prepositions. Mm -hmm. Hay muchas más prepositions. Y hay preposiciones de todo tipo, ¿verdad? Eh, dependiendo de qué es lo que queremos usar en el momento. Por ejemplo, eh, ahorita estamos usando preposiciones de ubicación, principalmente. Hay preposiciones que utilizamos para dar dirección. Pero ahorita estamos usando, these are prepositions of location, right? Okay. ¿Dónde están las cosas? Entonces, podemos, tenemos también eh, near, por ejemplo, si tengo algo por acá. No podemos decir next to, sino que near. You will say, the ball is near the table. Está cerca, pero no está a la par, cabal. No está a la par, no está debajo, no está encima. Está cerca, right? Pero, ¿qué pasa si estuviera acá? En ese caso, usaríamos under. Ahí está, ahí no me salió. Ok, under, sorry. Ok, then you say, the ball is under the table. Where is the ball? Mm, it is under the table, right? Where is the cake? It is on the table. On the table next to the glass. But where is the ball? It is under the table. Where is the table? It is below the balloons. Where are the balloons? Um, they are above the table. Yes. Any question over there? Teacher, I don't understand what is the meaning of below. Below is abajo. Y under is debajo. Si se fijan, la mesa tiene las patas puestas en el suelo. Right? Entonces, hay algo que tiene un contacto y topa. En ese caso usamos under. Pero en el caso del globo, los globos no tienen nada que los ate al suelo. ¿Verdad? Entonces, no podemos decir que la mesa está under the balloons. 
Por eso usamos below the balloons. Está la preposición abajo y debajo, right? En este caso, below sería abajo. La mesa está abajo de los globos. Pero la pelota está debajo de la mesa. Uh -huh. You see? The ball mm -hmm. is under the table. En este caso, sí usamos under. Por ejemplo, imagínense que usted tiene un ventilador de techo. Y usted se para debajo del ventilador de techo. Usted puede decir, the fan is above me. O sea, está arriba de mí, right? Pero I am below the fan. Es un ventilador de techo. O sea, está allá arriba. Hay cierto espacio entre el ventilador y yo. El ventilador y mi cabeza. Entonces, en ese caso, yo digo, I am below the fan. Yes. Any other question over there? Question, question. No questions. Okay, veamos otras pictures y vamos a hacer oraciones acá. Tell me, where is the girl? Where is the girl? The girl is, the girl is on. standard. The girl is on, on the bank. Ah, no, on no, the bench. Uh -huh, exactly. Ah. The girl is on the bench and the girl is at the bus stop. Está en la parada, right? En la parada de buses. Entonces decimos, the girl is at the bus stop. Where are the lamps? The lamps. Where are the lamps? Are, are the lamps are above the girls mm -hmm. or the people? Exactly. The lamps are above the people. They están arriba, verdad? Pero no encima. Mm -hmm. The lamps are above the people. Where are the cushions? The cushions are this. Los cojines, right? Where are the cushions? The cushions are? The cushions are behind the people. Behind the people. Mm -hmm. Or we can say on the, on the window, on the sofa, no sé qué es. Podrá ser un sofa. Yeah, on sofa. The sofa. Okay. The cushions, the cushions are on the sofa, right? Where is the bottle of water? There is a bottle of water here. What is the bottle of water? The bottle of the water above the on, table. It's on the table. On the uh -huh. table. It's on the table, right? On, porque topa. See? On, topa. The lamps are above the tables or above, above the people, pero the bottle of water is on the table. Now, tell me, where is the pen? The pen above a book. It's on, on? A book. Uh -huh. The pen is on the notebook, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. The pen is on the notebook. Where is the computer? Where the is computer the computer? The computer above the is between the notebook Not and the cup. Between the coffee. notebook and the cup of coffee. Cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. Between the notebook and the cup of coffee. And record, recordemos que above lo vamos a usar como en este caso, que hay un espacio acá. ¿Verdad? Si aquí hay un espacio entre el objeto que está arriba y la gente o el otro objeto, entonces vamos a usar above. Pero si está justo así encima, vamos a usar above. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ok. Where are the presents? Where are the presents? They are? The, the presents table. are? The presents are on the table. Are on the table, perfect. They are and, and near. The present, and the present red is 
behind the present black. Uh -huh, exactly. The red present is behind the black present. And the black present is in front of, right? In front of the black, the red one. The black present is in front of the red present. Okay. Any question there? No questions? Alguna preguntita? No question. Okay. Vamos a la platform then. Check. Go to 2.8. Well, 2.9. What you're going to do, there you have a video, right? Presenting to you the prepositions. Look at the first picture you have behind. Where are the keys? They are behind the box. They are on the box. They are in the box. They are in front of the box, next to the box or under the box, right? Those are the uh, six prepositions that you're going to be using. Al final de estas preposiciones tienen una imagen, que es la que ustedes van a utilizar para escribir sus oraciones. Van a escribir, where is, where is the, where is the key, or where are the keys? Hello. Okay, where are the keys? They are in front of the computer, for example. Okay, ven la, la, aquí van a ver la, la imagen, ¿verdad? Al final del video, y van a escribir oraciones al respecto. Ahorita nos vamos a ir al 2.10. Sí. 2.10. Everybody. 2.10. En el 2.10 lo que van a hacer es ver las imágenes y completar los ejercicios respecto a ellas. Where are the books? The books are Y recuerden las prepositions que acabamos de estar viendo, ¿verdad? Complete the exercise. Where are the books? The books. The green bones. Mm -hmm. They are. They are between. Recuerden que usamos between cuando tenemos, por ejemplo, acá la computer. We say the computer is. ¿Cómo, between. ¿Cómo sería adentro? In. En este caso usamos... The books are in the book bag. Ajá, exactly, exactly. Por ejemplo, acá, the coffee is in the cup. Está adentro, right? In the bag. In the adentro bag. sería in. In. Ahí vamos a usar. In. Oh, uh. uh
Okay, how are you doing? At the end, you have an audio, right? Listen and check your answers. Ya es es para revisar las respuestas que usted ha completado basándose en las imágenes. Where are the books? Where is the DVD player? Where is the television? Oh. Where is the DVD player related to the television? Where is the map? Where is the chair? Where is the wallet and where is the cell phone? Any questions over there? I have a question, teacher. Tell me. The answer in answer one, the response sería the books are in the own bank. Okay. Vamos a ver. Vamos a regreso a las a las prepositions. Check the preposition in y check the preposition on. ¿Dónde están los books ahí en la imagen que le están presentando? Adentro. Adentro. In. ¿Cómo decimos adentro? In. In. Exacto. In. On es encima, right? In okay. es adentro. Uh -huh. Puede ser adentro de una caja, adentro de un recipiente adentro de un bolsón, como en este caso, right? Adentro, adentro vamos a decir in y encima mm -hmm. vamos a decir on. Ok, entonces sería the, in the bank. In the bag, sería. yes, the books are in the bag, very good. Pero me, no me lo toman parece como malo. ¿Será que quiere que le ponga bag hat o book bag? Ajá. Podría ser que quiera que le ponga book bag. Right? On the book bag. Or on the backpack. Yes, it sure is here. In the school bag. Es que fíjense que ese mismo bolsón tiene varios nombres. ¿Verdad? In the backpack. Podría Thank you, ser teacher. También school bag. Ok. Estos serían synonyms de la misma palabra. A book bag, backpack, school bag. <coughs> An 
at the end, you listen and check, right? Check your answers. Question. Teacher, tell me. Uh, excuse me. Uh, how do you say uh, cartera? Bag. 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 Thank you. Okay. ¿Cómo vamos ahí? Okay, any questions over there? Si ya terminaron el 2.10, chequen que el 2.11 nos presenta el objetivo y el 2.12 que es el último de esta, eh, de esta sección, uh, lo cumplimos, ¿verdad? Completar la, la sección 2 completa. Eh, Acá van a hacer el audio y van a completar. ¿Se acuerdan que ayer eh, vamos a hacer un mini, mini, mini repaso, verdad, por alguien que no haya estado ayer? Por ejemplo, si decíamos, this, well, vamos a decir Tatiana's house. Tatiana. Tatiana's house. Is. Is next to. The bookshop. Ya, yeah. Tatiana's house is next to the bookshop. Tatiana's house. Ahí le van preguntando, where is, por ejemplo, Kate's, where are Kate's earrings? Kate's possessions, ¿se acuerdan? Los possessions que estuvimos hablando ayer, que van a ir usando el apóstrofe S, que le van preguntando, ya no, where is your computer? Pero, ¿dónde está la computadora de Hazel, por ejemplo? Where is Hazel's computer? Hazel's, apostrophe S, right? Where is Hazel's computer? It is on the table. Where is Roberto's cell phone? It is on the, or it is in his bag, right? It is in his bag. Where is Vanessa's uh, calculator, Mike. right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It is in the bag, or it is on the table. Pero eso es lo que van a ir usando 
ya en el último ejercicio que corresponde a la plataforma para hoy. Les dejo encargado como buenos estudiantes que terminen hasta el 2.12. Recuerden que ahí tienen pendiente el post 2.9, ¿verdad? De escribir las oraciones, preguntas y oraciones usando where is, it is on, it is in, it is under, ¿ok? Terminar la sección 2.2 esta semana porque el lunes empiezan con la sección 3. ¿Estamos? Yes. Estamos. Yes. Yes. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Eh, los links de, los, de las clases, ¿dónde los podemos encontrar para estarlas revisando? Por ejemplo, yes. de los dos días atrás, no las ha compartido en el grupo. Fíjese que yo los pongo siempre en el playlist de la teacher. Ahí están. Ya vamos a ver a dónde ella, ella se los va a compartir. ¿Verdad? Okay. Y ahí están en el playlist de la teacher, ahí han quedado. Bueno, los okay. dejo. Bye bye. Take bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Happy weekend. Bye, 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 b